Florida legislators are currently considering a controversial bill that would make it a third-degree felony for Floridians to conceal, harbor, or shield or transport an undocumented migrant. The proposed law is part of Senate Bill 1718, which includes several provisions targeting individuals who cannot provide proof of lawful presence in the United States. The bill would increase fines for employers who hire such individuals, require hospitals to collect patient immigration status data information, and crack down on human smuggling. The bill, proposed by Florida State Senator Blaze Ingolia of Spring Hill, has already passed a committee vote and is now winding its way through the legislative process. However, it has faced significant opposition from immigrant rights organizations who argue that it will have significant implications for immigrant communities in the state. One of the most contentious aspects of the bill is the provision that would make it a felony for anyone to transport an undocumented migrant into or within the state of Florida. Critics argue that this provision could deputize everyday citizens to report and enforce federal government enforcement activities, similar to the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850. The provision has been compared to language used in the Fugitive Slave Act, which allowed slave owners and their agents to seize escaped slaves and return them to their owners. The bill would also require hospitals to collect patient immigration status data information and submit regular reports on the citizenship status of their patients, as well as how much money was spent on uncompensated care of undocumented immigrants. This provision has also faced criticism from immigrant rights organizations, who argue that it could deter undocumented immigrants from seeking medical care. In addition to these provisions, the bill would increase fines for employers who hire undocumented workers and crack down on human smuggling, making it a third-degree felony for anyone who helps bring or attempt to bring a non-citizen into the U.S. at some non-designated place without inspection by a U.S. official at a border, port. Opponents of the bill argue that it will have significant implications for immigrant communities in Florida, particularly those who are already vulnerable and marginalized. They argue that the bill will encourage racial profiling and discrimination against immigrants and will make it more difficult for undocumented immigrants to access basic services like health care. In response to the bill, local organizations have gathered in Sanford to rally against the legislation and to call for greater protections for immigrant communities in Florida. They argue that the bill is discriminatory and unjust and that it will only serve to further marginalize and oppress already vulnerable communities.